Australian society feared the recent Indian demonstrations would damage our global image and our education market. Uh, from a racism point of view, I believe uh, every country, every community, uh, every area, every region is uh, as much racist as Australia can be. And Australia is as racist as any other country in the world. I mean, you and any other country is as racist as Australia is. So, I mean, nobody can say that, you know, I'm free of racism or, you know, my community is free of racism. I individually am free of racism. So, and, you know, the world definition of what racism is actually is about, uh, you know, 60, 70, 80, 100 years old. Um, racism was usually white against black. You know, is it really that anymore? Uh, what other dimensions have come up? Uh, there are a lot of other things that, that have come in the mix. So people don't really know what racism actually means. So uh, it is very difficult to say that, yes, this is a racist incident. I mean, if somebody calls me black, yeah, so I'm black. What's the big deal in it? Most of them, they were just like uh, random attacks, which could probably happen to anyone when it's a matter of coincidence and the media blow up that it is just coming into the limelight. And these issues have been there throughout the world, like UK, US, wherever you go. I mean, all these things happen everywhere. So it's just that things have just been blown out of proportion by Indian media and as well as media over here. I think it's more mentally than politically. Malaysian, like thinking that they're coming into our country, taking up our land and taking our jobs and everything. Cultural difference is obviously very much the way of behavior of people's the family aspects are totally different as Indians are very much conservative and they are dependent on their families their parents Australian officials in India reassured parents the government and media that students are safe down under and believe the mood in the subcontinent is slowly changing. Um, have a look at the opportunities you have in your country. And if you think the study is the most important thing which you need for your living, and if the study in Australia is much better than your country, come here, study, and get some work experience and all that stuff. And after that, you can go back to your country. Prospective international students may need to consider to come equipped with better planning, well-researched and realistic information, and most importantly, the knowledge that even in this idealised, well-developed and multicultural Melbourne, it is crucial to bear in mind that the world is not a perfect place. Unfortunately, racism exists in every corner of the world. In the end, it lies upon the individual to weigh their options and decide which path is most suitable for them.